Fox here. I got my daughter, my only daughter, okay. Serenity, with me today. And uh, we're just going to talk a little bit, guys. Uh, we just got finished with the service today, man. It was a powerful service. Thank God for the message that came forth. Man, we just talked about uh, hanging around people on the same mission as you. You know what I'm saying? Get, get people in your circle that will celebrate you and not hate on you. You know, a lot of times we go through a lot of stuff in our lives and we got friends and stuff and we wonder why things are not going on, things are not happening. Sometimes you got people in your circle that is not celebrating you, they just, they, they're hating on you. Because they don't want to move forward, they don't want you to move forward. Alright, and sometimes guys, you just have to change your circle, you just do. You have to get out, you have to meet new people, you got to get people with on, on one mind and one accord. Like they did in the, in the Bible in Acts, they was on one mind and one accord and then the Bible says, suddenly there came a sound from heaven. If you want, sometimes if you want heaven to speak on your situation, you got to get with like-minded people and get on one accord and watch God work in your life and everything. All right, guys? So don't forget that. You might have to change your circle, okay? God bless you guys. I just want to take some time, guys, to tell you so much. Thank you for what you did this week. We had a busy week uh, with uh, Birth of God. We had, you know, two big outreach events this week, and we nailed each and every one of them. The first one was on Thursday where we fed 150 kids plus their family plus the school staff for their athletic banquet. Man, these kids had food galore and everything like that. And I thank you guys for all of the donations. Thank you God for the church for your financial support because if it wasn't because of, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do what we do in the community. We just don't have church, guys. We get outside of the walls and go into the community and we do what Jesus the Christ he did, what he did. We touch people. Because that's what it's all about. My daughter, uh, who was uh, who plays softball, she was one of the managers for the basketball. So she was. That's the school her and my other son go to. And they did they love it? Did they like it? Did the kids like it? Yes, they did. Yeah, they was talking about the food. Yes. Yeah. So she know they loved it. They talked about it, and we took we helped take some of the burden off the school so they could take care of the kids with trophies and things like that. So I thank God for what you did. Number two, this yesterday, guys, we did the lupus walk. Oh, my God, that was such an awesome job and an awesome time. If you go to our Facebook page, you'll see pictures, guys, because that is real close to my heart, my daughter's heart, my wife's heart, and our church heart because that's what my mom passed away from in 2012. My mom was a giving woman. She was the founding mother of our church, and I said it today. What The last thing we saw her do before she passed and went to heaven is that Saturday she uh, got stuff together to give to the kids for back to school. That was the last thing she did was serve and gave. And then she went home and told God, I, I have fought a good fight. And that's what it's about. So we got out there, man, and we walked. Some people did the one mile. Some people did the three mile. Guess what? I did the one mile. And you, people might say, why you didn't do the three? I did the one. I did what I could do because last year I couldn't do anything. Because I was 400 pounds. I was beat down. I was messed up. My life was almost... But nevertheless, I did it. And that's what mattered. You did the three, didn't you? Yeah. She did the three miles. Her and my son, then they moved, they went further because we was, I'm, I'm trying not to get emotional because we did it for not just my mom, because my mom would have said, don't just do this for me. Do it for the ones who don't got nobody to run for them. So we did it not just for her, but we did it for everyone else who has this disease, who don't have family to do that. All right, and so that's what we did it for. Again, guys, that's what Breath of God's about. It's about getting out there and touching people. And guys, and thank you once again, guys, because uh, at the Lupus Association, the top five uh, don donors gets the tent. Well, we didn't think we was going to make it in the top five, but guess what, guys? Everybody pitched in, everybody came through, and we made the top five for two years in a row. We had our own tent. The CEO of the Lupus Organization said, you guys, Brother God Church, you guys have the biggest crowd every year. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about, guys. So thank you to all our family and friends that sold BOG. You sold the Lord. And let me tell you something. Thank you to the Qs, to the Omegas, bros. You came through and you did your thing. So to all my Omegas, all my Qs, bro, y'all did your thing. So thank you guys so much. You guys all chipped in and helped us go to fifth place. We made the top five, all right? It's going to be bigger and better next year. So God bless you guys. We sign it off. We love you. Don't ever forget. Don't you ever forget this. You matter to God. You might not matter to a lot of people, but you and your family matter to God. And he is the reason why you're going to make it. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you next week.